Nate, you guys, good morning, great morning, great evening, great afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video. This is Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin here, and I want to give you some words of advice from a millionaire, which I am. I'm humble to say that as you guys jump in here right now, um, but I want to give you some advice that helped me throughout my journey to become the wealthy man that I am here today. You know, today is, um, what is it, Monday? Monday morning motivation, baby. Um, you know, I'm driving my GTS today. I have a few cars and I'm blessed. I'm excited. Um, my children are in town right now, getting ready to travel to a couple of places around the world. And I want to talk about, and I want you to write this down below. Don't be married to your business be married to your purpose, okay? Put that below. And I'm gonna share a story with you, something that happened to me in my 20s, which kept me from really getting the money that I deserve to have in business and in life. Write this down, listen to me here. Yeah, I see you, I see I see you, Ryan. I see all you guys, Mr. Joy, what's going on, guys? Um, don't be married to your business, be married to your purpose. Like, don't even be married to your passion. And let me tell you why. Because a lot of you right now are in business and you're in business because you want to make money, okay? A lot of you are not in business, but you want to start a business to make money. A lot of you have jobs. You have a job to make money, okay? Now, understand that. Now, let me tell you a story what happened to me. And I want to save you five years of failure if you follow this advice as you're listening to this video here. Um... The first company I created was 7dayfitness.com. I was about 21, 22 years old. And, you know, I was a skinny guy in high school that wanted more confidence, okay? I wanted more self-esteem, you know? Can you guys imagine that? Me getting picked on, teased about my weight and, you know, peanut head boy in high school, Houston, Texas, right? But... I started to work out, right? And fortunately, all the years of working out, um, I kind of created a nice looking body, okay? Right? Or uh, I created a body that gave me more confidence as the individual. And I created 7dayfitness.com. And I believe that people, listen here, it was my belief, my belief, right? It was my belief that people, Listen to me, folks. Will work out for seven days for seven minutes a day. Now, understand this. Now, this is what's going to be applicable to you because I worked my ass off in that company trying to make it work on the internet, buying different courses, reading the self help books, walking on fire at Tony Robbins seminars. <laughs> in seven years, it didn't work. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I had all the belief. I had all the passion. I used to wear I used to wear seven day fitness shirts. But what I didn't understand, what I understood later, after six years of struggle and failure, like a lot of you guys are going through, is well, I was too married to the business. The point is, I wanted the business. I wanted the business to work. I thought it was a great idea, but the marketplace didn't like the people. The people that had to give me money, right? Understand this, in any business or service that you provide, a person has to give you money based off that service or product, but they must want it. This happens to a lot of people. I see it on Shark Tank. How many of you right now watch the show Shark Tank with Mark Cuban um, and those characters on that show? It's a great show to watch, by the way. Um, and I watch people and I saw myself in them because I love this business. I'm passionate about this business. How much are your sales? Um, well, we got about zero dollars in pre-sales. <laughs> oh, well, we haven't made any money yet, but I love it and it's going to work. Listen, you can't pay bills with passion, okay? You can't pay bills with belief. You can't pay bills with motivation. You can't pay bills with enthusiasm. You can only pay bills with money, okay? So what I'm saying is, all those years that I failed, 
I only failed because I was too married to the business and to the passion that I felt that people needed. Understand this, even though you believe that people need the product that you have, what's gonna measure that is the people when you ask them, say, hey, do you want this? If they tell you no, that means it doesn't matter how much passion you have, how much belief, hope that you have for your product or service, if the people say no, then you need to trash the product, or you need to pivot, or you need to revamp the product or service, or you need to go back to the drum board. I tell you that because, you know, seven years, man, I'm talking about, and it's like I was like lying to myself, because I was always motivated and saying, yeah, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Don't worry, it's going to work, man. Seven Day Fitness is going to be on every television station around the world. Seven Day Fitness, I'm going to have boot camps around the world. Seven Day Fitness, I'm going to sell all these products online. I didn't sell one. Out of six to seven years, look at me. I didn't sell one. But I'm telling you, a lot of you, you have great ideas. I understand. You have great dreams, things that you want to do and bring to the marketplace and sell to make some money, to pull yourself out of the nine to five job so you can drive the fancy cars and travel the world. Understand this, but <laughs> be married to the purpose. See, my purpose is helping people. The business that I'm in today is nothing but a tool. It's a mechanism for me, to be honest with you. I have different businesses. Not just internet business, I have real estate business. I'm in the stock market, I'm everywhere because I'm not married to the business. I'm married to my purpose, which is helping people like you succeed financially. Helping people like you understand that if you learn to use the powers of your mind, you can create a new reality. Even if you're in a tough place right now, or maybe you're not in a tough place, but you wanna level up. Everything starts or births from your mind, your beliefs, okay? What you're thinking about, whatever you're focusing on, whatever you think about most is what you're gonna receive. That's my purpose. My business, internet business, product business, real estate business, I like it, but I'm not married to it, which means is, if I need to close down that business, I will. If I need to create a new business that's going to replace another business, I will. Because that's nothing but a mechanism, it's a tool to allow me to fulfill my purpose. Does that make sense? I'm gonna let you go. And thank you guys for liking and sharing this video. And, and as a matter of fact, like this video if this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, watch it again. Then like it, okay? Is that whatever you're doing right now, you gotta be intelligent. And when I use the word intelligent, you have to be smart and say, you know what? Okay, I've been doing it for six months, seven months, a year. Am I making money? I mean, did I, am I making a dollar? I know many people, like me, I was a slow learner. It took me a long time to make money online or even in business because I was too married to the passion, too married to the business and trying to make something. It's like almost taking a square peg and trying to put it in a round hole. It's not gonna fit. Some of you are trying to take a square peg and you're trying to put it in a round hole. It doesn't fit. You gotta go get yourself a round peg. Stop trying to force it. If it's not working, do something different. And I know what you're thinking, well, Wesley, what do I do? Because I want to guarantee. I don't want to waste my time, right? I know that's what you're thinking right now. I'm getting older. I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of being broke, right? Listen, and I'm going to leave you with these words. It's going to help you. I wish someone would have told me this when I was in my 20s, okay? Listen, I'll be a billionaire right now. Success leaves clues. Write that down below. I'm talking to you. We're in class right now. Success leaves clues, which means is if you want to succeed faster, find somebody else that's successful. This is so simplistic, right? Find somebody else that is successful and model them. I said, I mean, if you want to succeed fast. Now, if you want to 
take the long routes of success, well, be innovative. Do your own thing, right? Create something that you believe that's going to work and, and keep trying to put the square peg in a round hole. But if you want to succeed fast, and I mean drive the cards of your dreams, like me and my family, we're getting ready to go to Japan. We're going to Malaysia. I'm going to spend about $50,000. We're going to Disney World in Tokyo, VIP experience. We're going to Legoland, VIP experience deep in Malaysia for like two to three weeks. If you want to do things like that, you know, right now it's 12 o'clock and I'm just going to the gym. I'm going back to my babies. They want to go to the bookstore. I'm not at a job right now. I'm not at a nine to five job working for a boss, waiting for the paycheck, sitting in a cubicle, waiting for somebody to give me instructions. No, I'm going to the gym. After that, I'm going to spend a day with my children every day. Why? I don't have a job. Why? Because success leaves clues. I just model somebody else. I'm, I'm talking to you young people. You know, a lot of you are not going to listen to me. A lot of you are not going to believe what I'm saying here. But the ones that do, you're going to get rich. You will. Success leaves clues. Write it down below. As you like this and comment below. Success leaves clues. And the faster way to succeed is to model another person that's already successful. Just see what that person does and just model it. That's it. Like, not copy, but model what they're doing. Make a better mousetrap. Create a new type of wheel, right? Just see what they're doing and do what they do. Those people I've learned, they succeed faster than other people. I love you guys so much. Hey, I'll leave a link below to my programs. You don't have to get it. But they're available for you. Why? Because it's going to make you richer. It's going to make you smarter, more intelligent about your life. Once a man or a woman have an organized mind, which is needed to be successful, sustainable success, your mind has to be organized. How do you do that? In the links below, Overnight Millionaire, it shows you exactly how to achieve and to assimilate the mindset of a millionaire. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to click it. But you'll realize that everything in life including this video that you're watching right now is, is for a purpose okay what you're watching right now this is not an accident everything in life happens for a reason you're here for a reason you're listening to me for a reason you don't have to believe me I don't have to be your mentor you don't have to follow me but everything in life happens for a reason based off your intention because you're watching me. I can see your big head as well. But I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for liking and sharing this video in advance. Much love. Let's go!